Hello and welcome back to Herding Cats Industry News Update. My name is Jeff. And I'm Rebecca. In tonight's episode, Jeff makes an apology, great news for cat lovers, and a $750,000 funding opportunity is up for grabs. Mm. And we'll also be updating you with what's happening around Perth. But first, yes, I must apologise to all of our viewers. Last week, I mentioned that A Garden for Lepers was written by Bob Chattery. This was a faux pas. It is actually written by Richard Maker. And this is what happens when we don't do our research. Well, it's a fair cop. Let's get on with the news. Cat lovers unite. The Cat Haven and the City of Perth are hosting the first annual Cat Video Film Festival on January the 17th, 2015. This family-friendly event will be held at the Northbridge Piazza and funds raised will go to the Cat Haven. Oh, cats do make for some wonderfully comical videos, don't they? They do. Uh, are you a cat lover? Oh yes, very much so. We are owned by a lovely little tabby called Minty. Aww. West Coast Visions is offering $750,000 in funding for a feature film project. Open to West Australian creative teams with a well-formed, low-budget feature film. Go to Screens West for all of the details. Wow, that's a great opportunity. I might have to get cracking with my feature film script. Oh, $750,000. Large amount. Come on, guys. You know what to do. Rooftop Movies is open, and I can't believe we haven't mentioned that before, so it's time to get the gang down there to see some of the latest releases and classics this season. It's a chance to see These Final Hours, the Perth film, and it's opening on December 3rd. Session details are on the website. I have a small confession to make. I haven't actually seen These Final Hours yet. Wow. Um, well, it's a great film, Jeff. So, hey everyone, looks like Jeff will be joining you there on the 3rd. Hey guys. Last season, I interviewed Kira Lee Lennertz, who was the WA finalist in the Madman National Cosplay Championships. Well, she's about to head off to Brisbane to participate in the finals. So, please, go across to her Facebook page and give her a like. Good luck, Kira Lee. Hello, everyone. I am Lady Elizabeth Cordelia Ethel Midford, daughter of the leader of the British Knights and the future wife of the Queen's Watchdog. But... <laughs> You can call me Lizzie. <laughs> New post-production and screening facility, The Backlot, is set to present Australian Revelations. It's a series of Australian masterpiece features, and it's starting with Romper Stomper on November the 24th, followed by Mad Max on December the 29th. Limited tickets are available from trybooking.com. Classics. Absolute classics. Definitely. Oh, and uh, speaking of the backlog, have you seen that incredible Heath Ledger mural done by Vincent... Yeah, um... Fantuzzo. Uh, yes. It's an amazing work and it really does capture Heath and his iconic role. It's well worth going down just to see that. In local theatre, Rockingham Theatre Company presents Sorry, Wrong Chimney, a cracker of a Christmas comedy. Old Mill Theatre is showing The Wizard of Oz, a pantomime. Limelight Theatre in Wanneroo is teasing us with Anything Goes. Miranda, the tale of a woman with a secret at the Garrick Theatre in Guildford. Phoenix Theatre presents Shorten Shakespeare, a Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, and let's not forget Dames of Thrones burlesque at Regal Theatre on December 4th and 5th. Game of Thrones? That sounds oddly like Game, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones? Yeah, keep up, Jeff. <laughs> Tickets for Black Swan Theatre's 2015 season are available now. The year starts with Venus in Fur, part of the Fringe World Festival, followed by Dinner, Glengarry Glen Ross, and Noel Coward's Blythe Spirit, and that's just for starters. Subscription packages and single tickets are available from Ticketek. Herding Cats Productions is hosting a quiz night on the evening of December the 9th to support local film productions. All the details will be included in the Facebook event linked below. We'd also like to say a big congratulations to Joshua Walker and Karen Schlink, who tied the knot a few weeks ago. Well done guys, congratulations. 
Congratulations. And that's the show for this evening. If you've got any news in Perth Film and Theatre, we'd love to hear from you. Drop us an email or leave a comment. We're always on the lookout for more news. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please feel free to share this with all of your friends. Good night and we'll see you next week. Good night. Nice one, Jeff. You're getting better. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs>